Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Yinkami Lordy and today we're back once again on Prayer to Hunter Grounds. In this video, we'll be highlighting another option for a pre-order DLC or pre-order benefit being the Digital Deluxe Edition and also the category of loot boxes come to the game. Yeah, interesting to say the least, but let's try and highlight everything in this one video. But also before we do get into this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with our content on the daily. So without further ado, Let's get straight into this. So you may know I'm hyped for this game, and now since the game is coming out on PlayStation 4, which we already know about, and also PC, and potentially in the future Xbox One, it gets more intriguing, more interesting. Obviously more pre-order DLCs and options are coming out, which are exclusive to some consoles. In this case, with the PlayStation 4, and it does have some interesting exclusives. What you mates will receive when pre-ordering the Digital Deluxe Edition for Prayer to Hundred Grounds on the PlayStation 4 will be five field lockers, and then something that we might go into deeper conversation of with the field locker aspect. Uh, we do also have PlayStation themed fire team camo and weapon skins, which hopefully you can see within the image as well, and highlighting a PlayStation themed Predator and armor skin. Those two skins are going to be exclusive just to the PlayStation, but I'm guessing if you do have a PlayStation copy and a PC copy, you'll be able to use those skins on the PC, just the way like Fortnite does work with their crossplay aspects. So I'm expecting the same thing here, hopefully crossplay with Predator Hunting Grounds as well. You also gain two early access items, which are Battle Hardened Assault Character and Predator Eclipse Mask. With early access items, you can still access it in the standard edition of the game. You just have to most likely grind for it to unlock it at first. You also receive the Prey to Hunters, Digital Comic Bug Dark Horse, a digital mini art book, and a PS4 dynamic theme, which is hopefully playing in the background right now, highlighting some of the themes that you do gain with that. There's also avatars as well alongside that, which highlight some of the female predators, the main predator, and I think some marines as well, if I'm not too mistaken about that. But it gives you some categories to choose from from the avatars on the PlayStation, but also gives you that theme so you feel like you're more part of that universe before launching into the game. Personally, I think this is an all right addition. I don't think it's something insane, but the most insane thing about it is going to be the exclusive skins and also the five field lockers. The exclusive skins will be like PlayStation camera skins, which we can't expect with any game that does come out these days that are multiplayer based. There is always a skin that looks like a blue slash black, PlayStation logo, and that's what we have here in Prey to Hunter Grounds, since it did become an exclusive first on PS4 before the PC edition was announced. So the five field lockers, what could they be? In the other games that this company has created, like the game Friday the 13th, there aren't any boxes or lockers or anything like that of that sort. But in this game, I'm expecting some type of RNG element when it does come to unlocking items, and I think five field lockers, or the idea of having field lockers, falls underneath that category. You would hope it won't be behind a pay to win barrier, more of like like every time you grind, you get a field locker and that gives you some type of unique element or item or perk in the game to utilize. So the more you grind, the more beneficial it is for you. It becomes like more of an escape of Tarvok type of thing. Like you buy the game, but you can also grind the game to get more advantages like reload times, better guns, all that stuff. So I'm expecting the same thing to happen here, but hopefully it's not behind a pay to win barrier with these boxes or field lockers, whatever you want to call them in this game. I'm hoping just like you grind, you play, you enjoy, and you get field lockers at the same time every time you live up or complete missions. I feel like that's a pretty cool idea. I'm hoping that's what it is because that's where you can get your cosmetics maybe, get some perks, get some items, maybe some exclusive stuff by getting that RNG element goal, like the 0.01% item that you can get as exclusive press a mask or something like that. That'd be cool because it's customization at that point. I don't think anyone cares about getting a customization over like getting a weapon in game that can give you slight benefits. So I'm guessing that is hopefully what field lockers are. But there isn't much information on these yet, but it just says five field lockers. So it comes out of quantity, and I don't like the number quantity behind any type of pre-order or benefit that you do gain. Because most likely, it may be a loot box barrier or loot box category within this game. But let's just hope for the best, and hopefully it's more behind grinding and earning those loot boxes instead of paying for them. Because we don't want a Battlefront 2 scenario happening in this game as well. So most likely, when it comes to my personal choice of pre-ordering the game, at this very moment, until other announcements of other additions maybe for PC counterpart or PC part in general comes into play. I most likely will be pre-ordering the standard edition on my PC or my PS4. I feel like that's the best option. You still get two exclusive skins, which aren't too bad. A weapon skin for a minigun and also a predator skin from the 1987 movie, which I'm hyped about. I think that's a really good combo as a standard edition pre-order instead of going for this other edition, unless I want the extra XP, which I think there's a 48 hour extra XP or double XP on it as well. I'm not sure. But I'd rather prefer the PC edition and just play that. And I feel like that's going to be a better choice for the money aspect as well for purchasing that game instead of putting more money into it when it comes for skins that I may not even use when it comes to grinding other skins in the game that could look better than the ones I get 
from the pre-order of the Digital Deluxe Edition. So that's my idea or thought process behind that. Tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about the actual pre-order edition of the Digital Deluxe Edition? And also, what do you think about the idea of having loot boxes or field lockers, whatever you may call them in this game. Do you think that will lead to a good scenario or bad scenario? Tell me pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. And that is all for this video. If you may did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with our content. And as always, it is a pleasure to have you mates by my side as we go through these topics. Expect more soon and I'll catch you mates in the next one. Bye.